Welcome Future Games graduates. This is the study orientation video for the Creative Media and Games Technology Bachelor Program. My name is Jeremiah Van Osten and I'm one of the programming lecturers and educational manager in the Games Degree Program. I'm here together with Hitta Derricks. Hi, I'm Hitta Derricks. I'm currently in my third year specializing as a technical designer. Before we get into the details about the Games Program, let me first tell you a little bit more about Breda University of Applied Sciences. Breda University of Applied Sciences, also known as BOAS, is a small-scale higher education institute in Breda, the Netherlands. BOAS was originally established in 1966 as a tourism school with just 58 students and 12 staff members, and has since grown to more than 7,000 students from almost 80 different nationalities and 800 staff members. BOAS consists of nine different domains, ranging from data science and AI to tourism. Games is part of the Academy for Games and Media. So without further ado, let's focus on what you're really here for, games. The Creative Media and Games Technology, or CMGT for short, bachelor program consists of over 800 students and 50 staff members. There are four variations within the games degree program, design and production, visual arts, programming, and film and visual effects. Our primary mission is to emulate the game industry as closely as possible so that you are prepared to become the next generation of world-class game developers and are able to work in the AAA gaming industry. This means that during your study, you will be working on team-based projects and making real-world games. You will develop these game projects from the conceptualizing phase all the way to the release of your game on a digital distribution platform. Among some of the prestigious rankings that we have achieved include being ranked number eight for best game design school in the world according to the Rookies, number three in the world ranking by Game Education, and number 12 in the world ranking by the Princeton Review. We have also achieved a gold medal from the Elsevier Review and number one ranking from the Dutch Kerzegids, which is based on the result of the National Students Student Survey. Some of the awards won by our students include Best Student Game for Arid in 2021, and for the Red Stair in 2017. And who knows, maybe your game will also win a few awards in the future. The structure of the games program is split into four years. In the first year, you will focus on establishing a foundation in your chosen variation. You will gain the fundamental knowledge and skills that are required for the following years. The second year of the program is about exploration. And during this year, you are encouraged to explore new ideas and take on different roles within your projects in order to learn new and interesting things. The third year is about collaboration, and during this year you will be working on a year-long project in a large multidisciplinary team. All of the knowledge and skills that you have been developing in the previous years will be put to the test to produce a game that will ultimately be published to a digital distribution platform. The game that you develop in the third year can be used as your primary portfolio piece that will help you to gain an internship in the AAA gaming industry during the fourth year of the study program. It is also possible that you further develop your game development skills by working on a personal project during the fourth year. If you need help at any time during your study, you are fully supported by the lecturers, study coaches, and student counselors. Hida, how has it been for you to study game development at BOAS? My first year was a very informative year, as it both built my understanding of what being a game designer means and gave me the opportunity to explore all the aspects of designing and creating a game. At first, I wasn't quite sure what I'd like to do within game development, if I'd be interested in the art side or more the technical side, but the first year gave me the insight I needed to make that decision for myself. It's also been amazing to learn how to do it by simply doing it, researching the tools and applying that research and insight to develop an actual game. Throughout this process, you'll touch on numerous different elements of game development and also have the freedom to pursue the aspects that you find interesting and want to specialize in. And because the education is on a rather small scale, the connection you have with teachers often feels more like a collaboration, as you'll constantly get the chance to experiment with new technologies or innovations. There's also regular feedback sessions with your teachers to have a talk about how things are going and to get some feedback or pointers if needed. Another nice thing is that occasionally, our games also get nominated to receive awards. One of the games I've worked on in my second year, Dark Side of the Moon, was nominated for Best Student Game in the Dutch Game Awards. After you have successfully completed your degree in game development, you will have the option to join a well-established game development studio either in the Netherlands or abroad. Or maybe you want to start your own game company together with your fellow graduates. You will not only be well equipped to work in the entertainment games industry, but also in the serious and applied games industry. 
Or perhaps you'll work on the next Disney production with focus on film, visual effects, or animation. Maybe you want to continue your education before entering the industry by following the one-year Master in Game Technology course that we also offer in our academy. In order to apply for the games program, you must have obtained a HAVO, FBO, or MBO4 Dutch diploma or an equivalent diploma from your country. You should take into account that next to the tuition fee, there are additional costs for study materials such as books, a good laptop, and some additional costs for software that you may need for the program. Each year we accept around 200 students. Over 1,000 people apply every year. And in order to apply, head over to studylink.nl and fill in the registration. After registration, you will receive a letter inviting you to join our Microsoft Teams environment, where you will complete an intake assignment that demonstrates your motivation and ability to succeed in this challenging degree program. The intake assignment is specific for the variation you are applying for, either design and production, programming, visual arts, or film and visual effects. Upon submission, your assignment will be pre-assessed. With a positive assessment, you will be invited for an intake interview. You will be notified two to four weeks after the interview to let you know if you are accepted for the games development program. Don't underestimate the amount of time and effort that is required to complete the intake assignment. Start as soon as possible to improve your chances of being accepted. If you are unsure which variation you should choose, you should ask yourself what you like the most about game development. Do you like to think about the story of the game or how the game mechanics work? Do you like to create puzzles or challenge the player in interesting ways? Then you probably want to be a game designer. Maybe you are interested in the art style of a game. You like to create characters, environments, props, or the special effects of a game. Then visual arts or the film and visual effects track is for you. Or maybe you're an analytical thinker with a focus on logic, proficient in math, and enjoy solving complex problems, then perhaps the programming track is for you. Our newest track is film and visual effects. Do you want to create new environments for Disney's The Mandalorian? Work on the next monster in Netflix hit show Stranger Things? Or be part of the creation of a film and animation at one of the top studios in the world? All of this and more is possible with our new film and visual effects study track. Our on-campus technological infrastructure will allow you to learn all relevant techniques for visual effects production. You will work on real cinematic and film projects in our simulated film studio. You will be taught a range of fundamental to expert skills and apply these in real projects towards released films. You will choose a role to turn you into the specialist you want to become. Previs artist, Creature TD, matte painter, lighting artist, just to name a few. Buos is the first University of Applied Sciences in Europe to have a full-fledged XR stage with LED screens available for its students. I hope you enjoyed hearing about our program. If you would like more information, then please feel free to join us on an open day, open evening, or on an orientation day at the campus in Breda. If you can't be here in person, we also offer webinars and a virtual campus tour. Thanks for watching, and if you still have questions, you can also chat online with me or one of our other students. Check out our website at buas.nl slash your road to buas for more information.